Ruth here, and this is my Crafter's Companion Craft Supplies haul number 36. So I've got a few... Uh, well, this is a freebie, and then this thing here is a freebie. So, uh, we'll do this one first. This is, was the, um, day two of the Platinum Day Sale. And, uh, this was the freebie for getting, for buying up to 10 pounds worth of stuff. This is just a easy to organize TV. So let's see, this is like if you saw my previous haul video, that was for uh, day one. Um, and this one will take one free but on the, the price of uh, in the basket it showed up as one ninety nine. Next up we have Shina Douglas Bell in a Stampin' Die set, Call of the Wild. I hope it's not even screen. Uh yes, so this is a very nice wolf. I was tempted to get like some of the other ones too, but for now I just took this one because it was on sale. For two ninety nine, so I think the retail was uh, five ninety nine. That's that. Next up is another thing that was on sale. It was the Gemini Christmas Larry Stamp and Die Robin Redbreast. So like, that's the whole thing, but um, this is a stamp set, comes with a two from Joy, that uh, someone very special this Christmas, thinking of you like Christmas, peace, love, happy holidays, and it's not holly leaves and berries. That's a layering stamp. It's got the ground shadow bit underneath the bird's feet and a snowflake and twigs or something. Or is that maybe a mistletoe? It's a branch of mistletoe and the berries or something. I don't know. It's like the one and two right there in the middle. We'll see one and two for the holly and berries. It's got a, it has a, the numbering next to them because otherwise you wouldn't know which one to do first. That should be interesting. So it also comes the bird and the tag die. Very nice. But yes, um, that was on sale for £4.49. Next up was also on sale, and this one... I'm trying to read off my packing slip here. It's called Woodland Beauty 3D Scene Builder Stamp and Die Set. Similar to the previous one, I think from the previous, um, Hole, maybe? Uh, on sale for £7. I think this was like around £16.99, maybe? Anyway, it's a Z Fold card. All those dies and those stamps to make all that. And I didn't really show it the other one, but there's a product code for that one. I think I showed you this one, but it was still there. Nice. 
Anyway, that's a lot of dyes. That's pretty cool. It's 28 pieces for 7 pounds. That's, that's a good bargain. Okay, the next one up is called Cozy Country Cottage. On sale for $8.99. This was like, was it a $29.99 set? It's a long one. It's got all those dyes in there. 20 piece set. Largest is a 6 by 9 by 8 by 3 inches. You make a house. Hopefully those are the structures. <laughs> There's the well, product pad. Makes an easel clock by the looks of it. Very cool. I mean, that is real long, so... <laughs> anyway, moving on. Here is the Make and Send Pad 12x12 Winter Wishes. For, on sale for £9.99. Four designs. Copper sheets, 12x12, 250GSM, and 12x12, 180GSM, the pattern papers. 32 piece set. I'll get this all right. Here's the code, if you're wondering. So it's got four die cut topper sheets, four printed paper sheets. For another four die cut toppers, a bunch of papers, and another four in each toppers and sheets, toppers and sheets to go with each other. Then, like some instructions down here, cut across your die cut topper sheet on the edge, then fold along to create a tenfold card. Cut across your second sheet on the edge, then fold along to create an inner card insert. Then on your second sheet, cut across the outline of the envelope, and fold along the dotted lines to create an outer envelope. Comes with the envelope too, isn't that nice? Hmm. Okay, so that's that. Now, we'll do the, uh, the freebie last, shall we? This is a Spectrum Noir. Oh, let me read it out. Spectrum Noir Storage 48 Tri Blend Pen Carry Case. On sale for $19.99. Can't remember how much this was, but it was more than 20 I think. Or, you know what? I'm going to look it up and put it right here this time. And, all I need to look up is. Charlotte Carrier Cares. Yes, retail price was $39.99. Hmm. Oh, there's another sale. Oh, yeah. Charlotte Controlled. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of yellow. The outer packaging, 24 piece. With the free carry case. So that's for $79.99, retail $119.99. Huh. See? Yeah. 
Anyway, I'm just saying that out that. Oh, today is a 16 minute deal, so I'm running out. Anyway, um, let me open this so I can show you. It's a bit tough to open it one handed. Cycle that. Okay, it's got a handle. Gives me a item kind of thing. Very nice handle here. Very sturdy looking. I'll have to cut this bit off. Huh? It's got a straggler. Anyway, it's nice. I guess fell over. It's got a zipper. So you can put, I don't know, paper or something or stamp set. Most likely papers you can color in, you know. It's Velcro. Or hook and loop, whatever you want to call it. We got pen storage. Another inner pocket on either side and you can open it out properly and also you can take the inside out because it's on velcro as well but I've got one hand and I can't actually show you but no oh, actually let's see if I can Let me pause okay I opened it so it opens all the way out and it's on the hook and loop thing right here so you can take it out put it back in and these fit your tribe ones or your other pants. Might be a, a loose fit for the non tribe one ones though. So, like, for instance, here's a tricolor aqua. You can just place it in there. That's right height to just be in there or you can put one of your other markers here's a uh, duo color you just slot in there it's a very loose fit so look so if you just it will easily fall out. I just, in this one, I need to use some force. It's just, yeah. So like, that's that. There we go. I managed to hit two of these small ones in one. So I've got the aqua. The duo aqua pens in here and the tricolor in here. I don't I think I'll use this one for the aqua markers. I still have two sets to get of the uh, tricolor. But I have a let's see. Very nice. So what you need to do So line it up 
chance we get these marks. There we have that. Now, last thing to open is this. It's got a little note here. Just a quick note for me to say thank you so much for your support. Love and good wishes over the past year. We really couldn't do what we do without you. I hope you enjoy your gift. And can't wait to see you using it to craft up a storm all through. Well, that's, I guess they're using cards from last year, because it always says 2024 now. Here's the code for what's inside. It's packaged up nicely with a little after some kind of holographic sticker. And I can open a present. Or a lunch wrap. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Generic sock of it all. Um, this is the bottom. So it just opens up like this. You zip off the bottom. Catch the open there. So you zip off the bottom. You have the base thing. And you put it in. So, we've got some storage pockets on the inside. We've got storage pockets here and a handle here. We've got two storage on the front with a Velcro shut or hook and loop, whatever. Uh, a pouch in the front as well, and two pouches on the side, nothing in the back. So yes, that is that little polka dot desk tote, I believe they called it. So I actually had a thought of what to do with this. Uh, so I was thinking putting my ink uh, blending tools in here because I've got a there are some other sponge heads and they're all mini ziplocks I can just place in here I'll put the two round wooden handle things you know blending tool handles in here I recently got a square which is a rectangle uh, blending tool handle. I put that in that pocket. I do have some blending brushes, like little thin small ones from something. The uh, craft that I think it was. I've got some, you know, spritzers I can put in here too. And I don't know, shimmy spray or some Spare scissors, I'm 
vacuum, desk vacuum, maybe some glue pens. I got a, a range of stuff I can probably put in here. So I guess I'll do a picture of it filled up or at least some filled up. I remember to take a picture of it before I edit this video. <laughs> but yes, that's everything. Um. Initially, it's mainly for my ink blending tools. I might put the audio pad in there, stack up, maybe. Currently, all my ink pads are on my desk, and I'm a bit of a mess. <laughs> so I need to. I have to organize one of the drawers, and I put all my card blanks and envelopes in there that I've accumulated, and uh, move the ink pads to my desk so I can actually use them because I sometimes forget and reach to the nearest thing, which is not the ink pads that were in the drawer because that's like, it was next to my filing cabinet, which is next to my desk, and it's the other shelf, so I'd have to get up and get it, and sometimes I get involved too. So, this is for the ink blending tools, occasional pad maybe, but yes. It's very nice. And personally, I like this better than the, uh, the cheetah one. I don't know, the cheetah one might be a bit bigger, but um, I don't personally like the cheetah design or the hot pink or whatever color it is. So I, I chose to get this freebie because originally it did have only 37 in my basket. I mean, there's no chore to me yet to add things to my basket, you know. And I was kind of hoping to save time with it, but what pushed it over the edge was the uh, make and send paper pad thing that I got, which I've never had one of those type of things before, so I can, you know, always try and make a card or something out of that. Because, like, it does look pretty cool, you know? And these are die cut toppers, right? So they can easily just pop out. Which is nice. And I want my scissors, you know. But yeah, thought it'd be interesting to try this out. You know, quick make cards type of thing. Anyway, yes, so um I'll just continue on with rambling if I don't stop now. So thank you for watching. Over and up.